really important thing is, you know, pivoting all of our efforts. We've got lots of volunteers on site that are able to work with us. Um, it's really important that we continue this work, especially in a pandemic when we see a really heightened uh, amount of food insecurity. The neighborhood food hub is delivering fresh fruit and vegetables and frozen meals to seniors and vulnerable people during the COVID-19 restrictions. To really reinvent the idea of what a food bank can be and mean to its community. While their non-essential services have been canceled, making sure that people still had access to healthy food was a priority. The neighborhood food hub was created about a year and a half ago um, by Council Paula Fletcher, the City of Toronto and East and United Ministries to support the Glen Rhodes Food Bank and Glen Rhodes Church. The main goal of what we're doing here is ensuring that people have access to fresh, nutritious food. Uh, the prepared food that we have here is actually made by Feed It Forward and includes fresh meat, fresh vegetables, um, and all of the programs that, programs that we're running right now are really focused on that fresh food aspect. Um, and it, it lines up perfectly with what the Food Hub is meant to do, which is to bring fresh food into our community. Once a week, fresh produce and frozen meals are delivered to volunteers who sort and pack and make the deliveries, always keeping safety in mind. It's just been incredible to see, um, and I think really what it shows is the strength of communities when we all work together. But they're always in need of monetary donations and volunteers to continue their work. If you can help, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.